What's going on, everybody? More fall fishing today, and we're at the world famous Rifle Gap Reservoir. <laughs> not world, not world famous at all, of course. But famous it's our here, yeah, it's our local reservoir, guys. The special thing about today is we're going to be fishing at a brand new spot here at this reservoir that none of us have ever fished before. There's an island here at Rifle Gap Reservoir. If you want to Google Maps it, you, there's only one here so you can't miss it. But with the reservoir being so low, with the summer drought and everything, we're able to actually walk out onto this island and it's pretty muddy to get out here so no one else is fishing out here. It is the juice spot. It is definitely the juice spot. Remy was here yesterday scouting it out, had some pretty good luck, so we're hoping to replicate that today. There's brown trout in here, there's rainbow trout, there's pike, there's walleye, there's smallmouth bass, there's largemouth bass, perch, perch bluegill, sunfish, just a wide variety of species in here, and the lake is super, super low. It's a Heinz 57. Yeah, I mean, Sam's lived here most of her life, and she's never seen it even close to being this yeah. low. Hoping to have some good luck today, hoping to land into a wide variety of species. Stay tuned. What are you throwing? Oh, it's got a chatterbait on there right now. Nice, I'm on. Nice. Nice, babe. First catch of the day, got a walleye. Got a walleye, guys. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice, babe. Keep it right up, keep it right up. Bass. Yeah, you gotta, you can't wrench it out like that, baby. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Pink micro minnow, huh? Yeah. Huh. So Sam's got a bass on, decent size, probably about a two pounder, and about a 14 inch walleye. Both the pink micro minnow. Got one. Trout. Yeah, just because it's a trout. Oh, he popped off. <laughs> it's all right, it wasn't anything huge. At least it feels good to have a fish on the line there. I was surprised to have that little trout. I'm using 10 pound test on this. All right, guys. Good size rainbow here. Jeez. All right, get ready. Oh. <laughs> Come over here. Oh, you're almost at it. You ready to swoop it? Swoop it. Nice, babes. <laughs> Good work, babe. Nice, you too. <laughs> All right, guys, really solid bow. Yeah. Awesome. It's a really good one, geez. Yeah. A 17 or. Yeah. Nice. 17 inch rainbow. Nice. There it goes. So it's kind of surprising, guys. Both these trout bites have been on this net or egg bite. It's a 10 pound test. Yeah, I was kind of popping it in super fast to get it in, and he kind of nailed it right there. He must have been chasing it for a minute. Got one. Oh, it's a pike. Pike on the net. Oh, oh. Nice, man. All right. Look at that pike, guys. That's a decent one. Probably my best one of the year so far. I mean, I'm, this is my first pike of the year, period. So, yeah. <laughs> pretty happy about that. Nothing huge, but go measure it up here. 18 and a half inch pike. There it goes. Net rig, getting it done. That one. Nope, that's a stick. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little pecs. Got one. I'm not sure what it is. 
Oh, it's another pike. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Another pike? Yeah. Looks like the pike want that Ned rig today, guys. Huh, interesting. Never caught a pike today. I mean, I've never caught a pike on a Ned rig, guys, and I've caught two today on it. Yeah. Smaller one for sure. Actually, probably about 15 inches. Long, long, awesome looking fish, though. <laughs> cool. There it goes. Well, guys, I know some of you guys wanted to see us get in some pike action, and Glad we can get into a couple for you today so far. Wasn't expecting to get pike with the net rig, but you know, at least we're getting some. Got one. Net? No. Walleye. He is definitely too small to keep, but... All right, you guys, walleye action. Hi. Yeah. Well, let's get him back in the water so we can go get bigger for... to be a meal another day. Yep, oh! No, nice. Oh, nice smallmouth. Yeah. Oh, look at that other smallmouth right there with it. I know. There's a couple of them. Huh. Nice. Nice, that's a good one. Yeah. It's a solid one, babe. Hey, careful. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch, babe. Nice. Yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> that's good. I like the golden colors. Well, there's definitely more over here. I'm definitely gonna have to toss the net. Yeah, I was using the orange. All right, Remy's on, guys. Fine. What are you using? PB and J? Yep. Whole oh, worm. The Ned rig. The Ned rig is the way to go. Some people on the right of us too that walked over here on the island, they're catching a couple fish and they're using the Ned rig as well. Yeah. Walleye. Oh, wow, yeah. Nice. In the under. Oh. 13 inch walleye for Ram. There's like a tiger pattern on it too in the top. That looks sweet. The Wallace? <laughs> William Wallace. Cut you to pieces and throw you around town. <laughs> <laughs> big windstorm picking up here and it's supposed to get pretty nasty here in about 30 minutes to an hour so we're gonna head out of here yeah. the walleye the bass a couple of trout just a lot of fun and, and I got a couple of pike on the net rig so everything actually was caught on the net rig today from all three of us yeah. if you haven't used the net rig for fall fishing guys I hope some of the videos we got on the channel recently kind of proves that it does a really good job for multi-species all around good yeah all around good yeah that's always my go-to <laughs> so guys hope you guys enjoyed until next time, Team Cost on and out.